going on guys welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a mystery unboxing from the on nintendo switch and all of the lovely accessories that i've accumulated to uh get it and stuff yeah yeah you already know all right so we're going to go through each individual item Here we go. all right so Hi. we obviously got the <laughs> clown we got the switch all right and then we got the Gucci Pikachu controller right here. Mm -hmm. We got four games. Smash, Team Sonic Racing, okay. Mortal Kombat 11, okay. and Bioshock the Collection. You already know what it is. We got a USB-C charger. charger. And I have more stuff on the way too, but this is just the stuff I needed to start up. 200 gigs SD, glass screen protector. So, so let's start with the SD card. All right, we got the SD card, 200 gigs. Uh, with the adapter and uh it's in there but obviously we can't do much with that until we can't do much with this or this until we freaking open the switch so we're just gonna set these inside but that's pretty much that um let's do the charging cable next which i mean it's a cable if i if i if you're that freaking stupid um i should probably tell you that even though it says charging cable on the front it does indeed charge <laughs> Um, USB-C, six foot. Y'all know what it is. So, just gonna set that over there because obviously I can't do anything with that either until we open the switch. So, all right, put that over here. All right, now we got the games. So let's go through the games and just see what the cartridges look like because I've never unboxed a Switch game. They life. look like the micro SD card adapters. They really do though, if I'm, if I'm like being honest. Like the little, um, what's it called? Games. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I yeah. still hate how, um, what's it called, Switch yeah. can pack an entire game into an SD card shaped thing, but like PS4s and Xboxes. PS5 needs a whole disc. Still need an entire disc. Right, right. It's a struggle. The one I'm most excited about, though, is Mortal Kombat, just yeah. because I want to see how they translated it over to a console like this. Since I have XL. Are there fatalities? Like, this is a Yeah, Switch. it's rated M. It's rated M. No, literally. Both this and Bioshock are rated M. Literally. It's rated M. We got Blood and Gore, Intense Violence, Strong Language. The works. On Nintendo product? I know, right? On a Nintendo product. That's Remember when they had Black Ops on the Wii? We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay, that's... that's mm -mm, we don't do that. Alright, let's look at the games. Alright, so we're gonna go from the cheapest one I got to the most expensive. So that's like... Uh, F it, I'll go with Bioshock first. Alright, let's open it. Oh, I, thought there, I expected there'd be some amazing artwork in there, but I guess it's just this is not. Got the tiniest chip in the entire universe right there. Um, and we got the pamphlet. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, mumbo jumbo. I mean, that's it. There's like literally nothing. All right, next one. I'm guessing it's like that for all of them. I'm gonna check. Oh, there's no pamphlet with this one. Even though there's a pamphlet holder, that's that's kind of gay. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that, especially. But I do like the chip design though. Zoom in on that chip design. Yeah, that that that's nice. That that's hot. That establishes dominance over every other game because you know that's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right. Um, here we go. Something useful in the case. No, look at the whole case. No, the chip is cool too. The chip actually isn't that cool. I'm talking about this stuff. These are like the different uh, offensive and defensive. They they're really trying to. The last Sonic Racing game I played was Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, and that game was cracked. Um, but this one, you don't really transform. All the cars just stay the same. The only difference is you can actually customize your cars in this. I think there's more characters, and then also, like, it's more Mario Kart-esque, where... Yeah, I've played this before on the PlayStation, I'm a princess. Yeah, it basically, like, it doesn't, uh... Like, your cars don't transform, it's more, like, power-up based, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. And then there's... So there's that. Um, and then lastly... Um, but certainly not least... Work. The one, the only, when she invites you over to... Nope, we're, we're doing a... That's going to be a blooper. Okay. All right, the one, the only, when she invites you over to Smash. Boom, look at that roster. Right out of the gate, we got Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Metroid, Metroid Prime, Yoshi, Kirby, um, Star Fox, Pikachu, Zelda, Dr. Mario, Pichu, Star Fox Bird, don't at me. I don't. I don't know these characters. Not well. I know them, but I don't know all of them. Uh, I don't know these two. 
Young Link. Uh, I don't know him. Mewtwo. Don't know him. All the Pokemons are in this one little square right here. Young Donkey Kong. Uh, what can only be described as Caillou, but it's bootleg. Um, Sonic. I don't know him, but I've seen him before. Don't know him. Lucario. Bootleg Wally. Uh, I don't know who that is. Pac-Man. No. No. Bowser Jr. I think that... No, that's not it. No, nope, I don't know them. And then Ryu. They got Chun-Li. Oh, they got Ryu. Shut up. Mm -hmm. uh, they got Ryu. I don't know him. They got Cloud. And then we got Luigi. Another young boy. NBA young boy or whatever. Uh, a dude from My Hero Academia whose name I can't pronounce. Uh, Jigglypuff. Princess Peach. I don't know what her name is. Bowser. Uh, Eskimo twins or whatever. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Whatever the heck that is. Nope. 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 Wario. Nope. Animated Zelda? Star Fox. Or at least a variant of him. The guy from the from Animal Crossing. Mega Man. Wii Sports Girl. Um, what the freak is her name? I can't remember. I literally can't remember. Um, nope. Uh, I know this one. It's Ashes. Uh, Greninja. Greninja. That's what it is. Uh, the Wii Sports gang over here no no splatoon inkling boy and girl i think it like switches i think you can customize it no 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 animal crossing and infern ape correct from pokemon yeah okay so Ooh, that was a lot that's a lot of that's a lot of characters my guy that was two minutes long yeah that was two minutes long all right uh but yeah we got smash so we got the games now the Pikachu controller. This is one of my favorite parts, actually. Um, one of my favorite accessories. I actually stumbled on this one in Target. I wasn't expecting to, really. I just kind of saw it on clearance. Plug the Switch controller into the Xbox. <laughs> Shut up. All right, we're going to open it. I just saw this on clearance at Target and was like, well, if I'm ever going to get a controller, I guess I got to do it now. So, Because um, Nintendo only has controllers like this that are like licensed to their brands and... The one I like the most is Pokemon, so yeah. So let's crack this open. I'm trying to get it open. It's so make these things theft proof. Holy! That I, is like ten foot looking. Bro, you don't even need the wireless one because this literally has you covered, like halfway across the room, my guy. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh frick! Yo, it's so yellow. Holy! All right, let's see what the instructions say. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's get that box, let's set that over here. Oh Wait, my! That's God. so freaking yellow. Um, let me see what this says. What is, how this says? How to plug guy. the controller in? Connected to the side of the dock and connected to the controller. Yes, very cool. Thank you very much. Um, because I definitely wasn't gonna do that. Um, all right, and now the reveal. Hey, wait a minute. Have you liked the video? Are you subscribed? You better be. Now back to the video. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god, that feels nice in the hands, though. This is literally just an Xbox controller with the A and, and uh, with the buttons reversed. Because the X should be right here and the Y should be up there. This yeah. is literally an Xbox controller in reverse. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like this. I, re I really like this. I love it. It stands out. It really pops. Dig it. And now for the main event, the one you've all been waiting for. All right, so it's gonna tell you to plug in, set it up, and then it says, let's see, the the Joy-Con controllers will also charge. Okay, to remove, uh, set the Nintendo console into sleep mode or waking up by pressing the power button. Okay, very cool. And ladies and gentlemen, oh your Nintendo my Switch. God. Oh, the Joy Cons, it's so crispy. All right, let's get everything out the box. Cut to when I do that in three, two, one. Now. We've got everything out of the box. Now let's go over each part. So we got the Joy-Con grip right here. We got the uh, we got the Joy Cons, which I bought accessories to customize and upgrade. So yeah, but these are the Joy Cons. Um, let's see here. Got the Joy Cons, the blue and the red. They actually look better than I anticipated, if I'm being honest with you. Um, let's go ahead and throw that over. 
up there. Um, we got the setup guide or whatever. Um, all right, let's look at the dongle. Or the, not the dongle, the dock. See, I was aware that I, I wasn't told that this has two, uh, what is it? I wasn't told that this has two. So there's one USB port back here. And then there's the freaking HDMI. Okay. HDMI. So there, there are two USBs on the side. Yeah. I did not, I did not know that. Okay. Very cool. And, um, I'm going to take this, put that up there. All right, cool. And then... Let's look at the cables. Now that we look at the cables, we've got your HDMI cord that they give you, which is really nice because I didn't think they give you they gave you HDMI's. So that's kind of nice. Um, all right, and then let's look at the bumpers. Nice Wii remote straps. Thank goodness. <laughs> Very much appreciated that they came with these as well. And then. Let's see. And then lastly, we got the AC adapter. Let's just throw that packaging up there. AC adapter. Let's take it out here. Um, and then... This is, a, this is a chonky boy. This is a chonky, chonky adapter right there. Alright. Then, the main event. And in this corner, we have the Switch itself. It looks so... It looks so crispy. Like, my God, it's so crispy. Look at that. That's hot. That's hot. You can literally see the camera in that. That, that That's nice. That's nice. All right, so let's cut to when I'm setting it up in three, two, one. All right, so we got the switch up here. We got the switch over there in the dock. We got everything up right here. And we got all the stuff down here. Um, I just recently set up my account, blah, 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 all that stuff. So let's let, let's let's have a look at it. All right, so we got... All this, there's not really much you can do. I've got them in the in the grip right here, but I'm gonna remove them because I need to charge these. So I'm just gonna slot them in like this. It's gonna make the noise. I think, I think it does. Or maybe it's only on the tablet where it makes the clicking sound whenever you slide them in. I can't wait to hear that noise. Um, so we're gonna untangle this long cable here. And I'm gonna test the Pikachu remote just to see what it's about, you know. Um, all right, here we go. All right, what, all right, what are we on? Yo, bet. Bet, okay. All right. So I go to controllers. Is it the same thing? Oh, yeah. So if they're you all click on charging. change grip order, you could change it. So how it's like, wait, click L and R. Wait, change what? Wait, I don't want to change you anything. Could, no, you could change how just that will be like your backspace or whatever. Like that weird thing where Y is the search bar and like X is like, do you know what I'm talking about? So you're saying remapping? Yes. Okay, okay. So we remap. All right, all right. Yeah. And when you're ready. Just so change grip order, but that did nothing. What was the point of that? You clicked the wrong button. Press A. Press A. Oh, L, R, and Z, R. That's what I just did. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold A when you're ready. Uh, okay, that's retarded. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know what's wrong with that. Okay. All right, um, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to... Um, so put it in sleep, album, blah, 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 all that jazz. Um, and then you got, all right, so there's Switch Online, Switch eShop. Um, I want to go ahead and, all right, are you still recording? Yeah. All right, point it down here. I want What I want to do is I want to go ahead and undock it, and I want to go ahead and add Should my stop SD card. No, keep going. I want to go ahead and add my... Just focus on this. I want to go ahead and add my SD card into the back. Yeah, you here. should pop that up. All right, so we got the switch here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Pop the SD card in here. Which, I don't like how flimsy this stand is. That 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 really bothers me. Um, but other than that, let's just go ahead and... I don't want to mess up the screen, but I know i got to flip it to get this in there. So I'm going to sit it up on the stand right here. I'm going to, I'm going to try to. This works best on a flat surface, I would assume. Yeah. So we'll just like freaking, I'll close that on the back because I don't want to lay the screen down flat. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freaking take out the SD card. It's knife time. God, don't, don't break anything. Okay, that kind of did it, I think. Maybe. Can we? SD card snaps. <laughs> 
God, no. Why does everything feel flimsy on this, though? No cap. A few moments later. After many long attempts later, we got the freaking thing out. All right, 200 gigs. There you go. No, it's not gonna focus on that, but it's 200 gigs. All right, let's pop this open. Sit it on my knee. Pop this open, and then freaking... Three, two, three, two, one, drop, drop it. it. Dun, dun. All right, we got that in there. Ooh, it makes a fancy noise. An update is required to use the micro SDXC memory. What the? An update is required. Okay, system update then. Yes. Yes, update it. All right, so that's updating. Um, those of you wondering whatever the heck this is. This Oops. is literally update just... Update complete. What it, for those of you wondering seconds. whatever for those of you wondering what this is this is not an SD card this is the adapter so basically you can slide in for a computer this yeah for a computer since computers don't take micro SDs and download info onto that but since we won't be needing that I'll just throw it in my tech bin somewhere so yeah Let's put that over here with the rest of the trash and put this right here and all right let's see what else all right so we got the the memory in there and what we do we just do that and then go to settings and we look at data management and we look at our 183 massive gigs. So that's cracked. Very nice. All right. So we got the grip and y'all already know what this does. So this isn't really exciting. And then we got the Joy-Con bumpers, which I won't need until we start actually playing some games and whatnot. So, um, all right. So. I got my Pikachu controller here. We gotta go through the eShop and download everything. Um, no, I'm not getting Fortnite. I'm only getting Apex because I want to see how it feels on something like the Switch, but that's pretty much it. Wait a minute! Crash Bandicoot? Isn't this a Sony property? I'm not allowed to do that. The frick? Uh, guess not then. Oh, it's Activision. Okay. They, 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 they got away with that. Just barely. Ooh, wait, 50% off? Just Dance, actually? No! Just Dances 2. No. No. No, we're not looking at that. Demo available? No. A bogus. Yeah. I mean, kind of nice to purchase it, to be able to play that on this. Proceed to purchase. We're going to cut the cutaway for this. Hold on. Yeah, T7. Y'all <laughs> oh, can just look at the ground for this. All right. And... Hey, they got all my gear. Bro, don't show people where I live. All right, so I got my controller here. And then we got some games downloading. And then, yeah, BRB. So I tested out some of the games. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit harder to get footage for this since you can't stream on it. So I'm not going to be including any actual gameplay in this. But when I am, or when I do figure out a way to... Um, get gameplay footage. I will definitely make some. Um, all in all, I really like how certain games translate to like the handheld from. It's like it's perfect. It's like a literal mobile version of that game and an actual console version of that game. It's really, really cool. And like whatever game you pick, like of that game, it translates. Most of them translate well into mobile. Um, from what I've seen, and it's just it's it's definitely a solid console. Definitely. I'll say, because it's like, it's more out of the convenience of the thing, because it's not like, uh, it's not perfect, and obviously this thing isn't running like some dumb, dumb, heavy graphics card. Like, it's, that's why it was only like two ninety nine. but it's about like the convenience of being able to like take it with you and not have to be like grounded like at home or at a TV in order to play it. And I think that's where, that's where the crispiness comes in. And so, I really do appreciate that. Yeah. This is gonna be lit. Also, the Switch, um, like, load speed is crazy fast. Like, it's faster than my PS4. That's kind of wild. Though I will say, um, there are some things holding the Switch back in terms of features. Like, I don't know why... It's like a tablet that you can only get YouTube and Hulu as far as like other apps. You should be able to get other stuff. Like you can get other games, no problem. But like, why not Netflix? Why not 
a browser. There's been a browser on every Nintendo console, so I don't I, I don't understand why they wouldn't add one to the Switch. It just doesn't make sense to me. Be able to, to stream without buying some wonky accessory. Like, I don't... I just feel like that would be, like, basic at this point. Like, kind of like how connecting to Wi-Fi is for everything now. It's like having a camera on something and having Wi-Fi is, like, basic big brain for any tech of this... Well, not any tech of this variety, but at least Wi-Fi, you know. It's like there are just some basic things I feel like they should have added and they didn't, but... But it's still good. Everybody tries to act like the Switch is supposed to be this massive, like, uh, competitor against, like, the Xbox and the and the PlayStation. And it's like, in reality, it's not meant to... Because people are like, oh, but what about the games? And what about the this and the that? But, like, at the end of the day, it's a different type of game console. It's not really in a league of either of those. It's not about what can run faster or better. It's about having the ability to switch from the TV to the handheld on a dime. And that's like really convenient. People such as myself, um, who work a lot or are on the road pretty much 24 seven, it's nice to have a console that you can actually bring in the car with you. Um, so that's like, that's kind of the whole point. Like you don't buy this to play like Fortnite or whatever. Like, I don't even have it installed on this. I just, I have it for the sole purpose and convenience of having, like, pretty much every game on the Switch be, you know, an offline experience. So, I think it's nifty that you can bring it with you, and that's, like, the most convenient thing about it. The Joy-Cons actually feel way better than expected. Same with the controller, the Pikachu controller that I got. Um... Everything just is kind of, it kind of feels better than I thought it would be. Um, as for the, the multiplayer modes on any of these, where you do like the single Joy-Cons when you play with your friends, I haven't gotten to test that yet. So what I do, if I can before this video has to go up, I will add that in. But I tested it myself solo. Like I just put both of the little, uh, I put it into multiplayer mode and it's, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid for, um, it does feel a little small at, at times, but for what it is, it's it's very crisp. And I don't know how they managed to fit, like, like whole entire games on like the tiniest cartridges you've ever seen. Oh, the cartridge isn't in here; it's in the um the actual console. But like, I don't know how they managed to fit. Like, we still need discs for the PS Five, and we could just be using chips is beyond me, but nevertheless, um, in conclusion, I think the Nintendo Switch is a nice smaller console for the people who don't want to cough over, like, upwards of a thousand dollars to get themselves off the ground in regards to, like, what you need to buy for the console and its own price and all of that, so... I would I would still recommend it, but anyways, this is literally just like next day. This is like two two days in, so this opinion might change, but for now, it's it it's fine. It's it's fine, especially if you're gonna be going out and you want to play with friends or whatever. That's that's nice. Or if you want to start a single player game by yourself, and you want to have the ability to to play it while in your bed or in the kitchen or like anywhere. That's that's the thing with this. It's one of those AirPod type things where like you don't understand how convenient it is until you actually have it and then you're like, ah, yes, now I get it. Um, but yeah, saw a little console and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>